Yo, what is up guys? Logos here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to become a pro at girl attack. I'm joined here with HBW Gaming, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I can get better at the game. Uh, improve if you just got the game and you're trying to learn how to get better. We're here to teach you. So let's get started. Alright, the first thing we're gonna start out with is walls. Um, walls are kind of easy. A uh, really simple concept, you just have to practice. You don't, you don't learn it in a day or two, you really just practice. First thing you want to learn is wall climbing. And you're going to wall climb by kind of pushing from wall to wall. So you see I'm pushing to this wall, to this wall. You're pushing to wall, you're pushing to the next wall, but you're kind of pushing upwards. Like this. Like that. So in a complete wall climb, you're just going like this. It's basically like Frozen. Like yeah, like just pushing from wall to wall. That's kind of simple because you have an advantage because your hand will stick to the wall. You can use that to your advantage. What a lot of people do, they'll, 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 like their hand will slip. I don't know how people, how people do that, but what they'll do is they'll just go like this. Like they'll, they'll, go, they'll throw their arm all the way. You don't want to throw your arm all the way. You just kind of like barely push, you know, so you can get the hang of it. So that's wall climbing. Just practice that for a couple days and you should be good at that. And also, whenever you're playing Gorilla Tag, make sure you have a pretty basic play space set up so you don't hit anything while you're playing. So next on the walls is wall running. Wall running is a simple concept. Also, I recommend starting over by here in the stomp. But once you've gotten a little better at that, you can start going towards the uh, that wall over there and wall run. But whenever you wall run, you want to, or for starters, what you want to do is to go to stump on top of this big stump right here and then you can do left hand or right hand you just jump off here and then just practice your wall running just go and if you can go to right here then you've got it good if you can get to the other side with both of them so i'm gonna jump right here or off of that branch i'm just gonna wall run and what you're doing on the walls is you're basically just doing sort of circular motions on the wall so like that on the wall and then you just kind of do that until you feel good with it so next we're getting a little more advanced since most of you guys have already gone in game and practice um but once you've practiced and you're pretty good at it we're gonna do something called vertical wall running this takes a while to learn but it's almost the same concept as wall running, except you're just doing it a little bit different and more vertical up the wall instead of just going horizontally. So let's get to it. Um, Logos, can I say one more thing about the wall yeah. running? Okay, so when you guys go um, to the wall run on here, try going in caves and go on the back <clears throat> walls of caves and just pat the wall. like. Yeah, going you can do that yeah. and then it'll get better. So for vertical wall running, you kind of want to do... Like, you, it, it's, it's basically on how you want to do it. Most people will do it any way they want, like, just different sort of motions on the wall. But my personal favorite one is going like this. Most of it does the same thing. He just goes like this on the wall. Like that. But not, like, really big ones. Just kind of, like, sort of, like, kind of small ones. I'll show you what that looks yeah, like here. This is a learning lesson for me, too. Like that. Can you um, this? and that's basically it what for the... the for, um the walls and more advanced stuff and stuff like that. All right, so now we're gonna get into more advanced stuff like branching and long jumping, which we'll get into in a bit. But first we're gonna start off with branching. So we're gonna get into the more advanced stuff like branching and long jumping, which is a much similar concept to branching, um, but we'll get that in to that in a bit. First, we're gonna start off with the branches. These are quite simple to learn as you're not really doing a thing. You can go on just YouTube and look at uh, most of the routes and just follow those and do those routes. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out some routes you can learn. But branching is just learning like certain routes and learning what to do. Branching like is is literally easy for everyone. Um, I, I recommend being on the default 72 hertz and not 60 hertz when you branch because as you can see I'm on 60 hertz right now and you fall a lot faster so it's harder to branch. Like see I'm just not really going anywhere. When I'm moving, but um, yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty basic with branching. Um, as I said before, it's just about learning what to do. Um, in particular, not just running around 
and <laughs> doing whatever. But you can freestyle and just make up your own routes and just do whatever you uh, want. But that's that's the main thing is freestyling. It's just doing whatever route you want to or creating routes. So now let's get on to the long jumps. Long jumping is for the semi-advanced players. The players have, uh, have played for over at least a month and understand the concept of griddle tag and the way you move. Long jumping is simple if you master how to do it. I'm going to do a simple long jump here and explain how I do it. So how I did it was when I'm pushing off of the branch, I am looking downwards so the momentum I carry is equal. So I, I know I sound like a nerd here, but basically what I'm saying is you go faster when you look down and push off and look at your hand. So that, that's how simple long jumping is. And you just practice it for a while and a while until you're really good at it. It's that simple. I can show you guys a couple long jumps so you guys can get a good feel for a couple starter long jumps. First starter long jump is going to be this, the one I just showed you previously, where you just jump to this branch right here. That's one of the easiest ones you should be able to learn first. It's good for rotating, get away from the lava monkeys, etc. Let's get on to the next one. Now the next one is on the same branch that you just landed on, or you're coming from anywhere and you're just trying to rotate, get away from the lava monkeys. This one is a little bit more advanced, so I recommend you guys practice for a bit to get the hang of it. This jump is called the robber jump um, and competitive. And basically, all you're doing is the same thing you did to here, but you're just going back. And it's a little harder, but if you practice it, you'll get it. So double walls are pretty simple. Uh, it's just bouncing from wall to wall. There's multiple ways you can do this by going up the double walls. You can go like that, how I just demonstrated, or you can elevator climb. Uh, or pinch climb. The easiest method is by just doing this on the wall, hugging the wall and pulling in. So you're kind of just hugging the wall and pulling in at the same time so you don't fall off. You can do that. The next one is going to be elevator climbing. Elevator climbing is a little bit difficult for the players that have been playing for at least like a month or two, you know? And how you elevator climb is you put your arm through the wall because your arm doesn't go, like it doesn't have colliders so it won't go, it won't stop. So what you can do is you put your arm through the wall, and you do this motion on the wall. You go like this. And you make sure, put your hand, put your, because most people that have small arms, they kind of just do this, because they won't be able to go up. So what, what you can do is hold your controller by the end if you have really small arms, and do elevator climbing. It's just circular motions, you're just going like this. And you can also do it with your left hand on the other side. You can put my left hand through right here, and then just elevator up. Like that. Make sure not to get stuck on these little poles because they are very annoying. You can just elevator up to the top, right or left hand, doesn't really matter. Let's get to the advanced elevator climbing. So for the advanced elevator climbing, you're gonna be using two hands to go faster up the double wall. So what I'm gonna be doing is putting both hands through like this, and I'm gonna be doing this. Like I said, if you have small arms, I recommend sticking your controllers out by the end so you have more room to do it so let me go ahead and demonstrate so that's how simple it is it's very simple um but it takes time like i said to learn all you're doing is just doing this it's mostly with your wrist it's not with your arms it's with your wrist you're going like this up the wall pretty simple so yeah that is it for the double walls let's move on to nothing that's it for the double walls, and that is it for our complete Euro Tech tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.